Good day, friends. It is me, H.L. Montek, and I'm back with another awesome lesson. Today, we're going to try and get your summer vacation off with a splash. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, the first step is to get into Tinkercad and create a brand new design. In our design, I'd like you to start by naming it Pool and then putting your initials after it so that way you can keep track of what you create. We can make our pools out of rectangles, so I'm going to bring one of these out and I'm going to make it four millimeters thick. And then you can just stretch it willy-nilly to whatever size you want, turn it blue, and then make it transparent so it looks a little bit more like water. We want to put sides beside our pool, but before we do that, let me show you that you could also make it with the cylinder. I'm going to tell you to put the sides if you use the cylinder to 64 though. Once again, I'm going to do that four millimeters thick. And then this one, when I stretch it, I'm going to just pull it in these directions. And you can put two of these together so they make some fancy shape like a bean or a couple of ellipses, something fancy like that. I'm going to change to my blue again. I'm going to try a different blue just because I can as we explore what the best kind of pool is. And then when you group these two, let's see if we can still make them transparent. Yes, we can. And you would have a different funky shape for your pool. Either of those is fine. I'm going to stick with the rectangle. You can pick whichever you want. I want a walkway around my pool, so I'm going to just do Control D. I'm going to stagger this off to one side, and then I'm going to pull out the black handles till I'm happy. There's no need to be perfect on this one. I'm just having fun. To make it so that the two pieces work together perfect, I'm going to first click the Align button and make sure they're centered on this side and this side. I'm going to select just the outside and I'm going to hide it quick. I'm going to select the inside and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to raise that new hole up in the air. Notice you can tell it's the hole. I'm going to do Show All. And then I'm going to hide the old pool. So notice I'm not touching the outside pool. I'm touching the inside pool. If you get it so you can't touch that, check out this trick. By just clicking on this and doing control up arrow, I can raise that walkway out of my way. And then I can hide the real water. At this point, I take both of my items and I hit D for drop. And when I group these two together, I have now got the cutout walkway for my pool. I'm gonna change it to a cement color and you don't want cement to be transparent. And then when we do show all, we've got an awesome pool with a walkway around it. Pools are way more fun if you have a diving board. So let's add one real quick. I'm gonna put W for the work plane and I'm gonna bring out a round roof. I need to rotate that and I'm going to look at it from a corner. I always find it easier to do that. And then when I rotate, I stay close to the shape so that it snaps to those little lines. And you can make it whatever size you want as you just stretch and align it to what you choose. My little fit view gets it closer so I can see what I'm doing. Make it a little thinner. And then I'm just going to do a second one, Control D and move it back so there's two of these little supports. I am not measuring at all. I am just having fun putting this together. I'm going to zoom back out to the whole home of the project. I somehow got those misaligned, so I'm going to fix that real quick so that they are centered on each other. And then I'm going to bring out a rectangle, and I'm going to drop it in the same spot. Squeeze it so it's the right size or a little bit smaller. Let's look at it right down at its spot and from a corner so we can shrink it to what would be a good thickness for a diving board. I'm going to go three millimeters and then I'm going to use control up arrow to raise it on top of where I'm supporting it. Let's look at it from the back middle and make sure it's lined up. I'm going to just use the arrow keys to get it so it's exactly where I want and then I'm going to stretch it out. And I think instead of three, I'm going to change it to 1.5 so it even looks a little bit more bendable. That, I think, looks like a pretty decent diving board. Let's take those three pieces, hold down Shift, and select them all. 
and then group them so that they are one cool part. Pick your colors, have fun, see how awesome you can make that. I'm gonna hit W and set my work plane back to the ground. I'm gonna real quickly add a little floating tube in my pool. Notice you've gotta raise it up so it looks like it's floating. Super simple and fun to add. And then the next piece I wanna add is a slide. This is an amazing creation that was given to me by an awesome student. Ella, if you're out there, thanks for sharing. She went to Featured and brought out the spring. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the entire park, or the entire pool. And I'm going to put my slide over at this end. I'm going to click on that shape, and I'm going to hold down Shift. And I'm going to stretch it to the height that I think is cool. I'm going to pick an awesome color for my slide. I'm going to go with the classic plastic yellow slide color. Do Control D to duplicate, and here's where the magic happens. Lift your duplicate up to the thickness you think you want your slide to be. Change it to a hole and group the two parts and be amazed at the cool little slide you just created. Use the little rotate so that it's actually going into the pool. And then I'm gonna use the arrows to nudge it into place. And slides are usually above the ground, so I'm gonna do control up arrow to raise it up a little bit. Alright, so now that we've got our awesome slide built, let's real quickly add a platform for people to stand on. Click on the flat piece of your slide so you can bring out a box and make the platform. Shrink it however you want to get it so that you think it looks perfect. I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge it into position so I'm ready to add stairs. Now that we've got our platform in place, let's hit W to set the work plane back to the ground and let's use the awesome stairs that are on the all shapes to get so people can come up to our project. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees so that it's headed in a direction that works. You could also put it on the other side. This is where you've got a lot of flexibility. We want lots of levels, so I'm going to change this to 16. And I'm going to change the depth to 4 so that they don't stretch out quite so far. You could stagger these so they wrap around. I'm going to keep the size 20. And now that I've got stairs, I can just adjust them so that they work to the spot that I was aiming for. Not the safest pool, but I'm just showing you the idea. You can make yours way cooler than mine. I think I'm going to bring this back here off the end, and then I can click on my platform and stretch it out so that they can walk up it. Alrighty friends, so there is the start of your awesome pool project. There is so much more room for you to make this awesome. You could add picnic tables, benches, umbrellas, anything you wanna create, you can have around your pool. Have fun, make it awesome. If you're in my classroom, of course, turn in a screenshot of how epic it turns out. If you're on the internet, you can also do a screenshot and ship it to us at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Friends, if you found the video useful or fun, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great summer.